Hello everyone and welcome back to Autonauts, where in the last episode we set up some automated uh, storage of planks and poles, or rather automated production and storage of planks and poles, also automated production of all of the tools, and we've updated all of our robots to collect their tools when they run out rather than waiting for me to deliver them. Finally, we just finished off right at the end of the episode a little automated mushroom farm, and now before we do anything else, we're going to to work on a little fruit farm now this one is going to require a bit of well manual work i know i know we could set it up such that the uh, robot would automatically deliver uh sorry um dig out and then plant the berries but that wouldn't be the best use of space so whilst this is not strictly automated i feel it is better in a couple of ways. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plonk down a couple of little uh, soil areas here and there, and uh, we're going to be using these as little markers because one thing I have noticed is that robots and myself can walk through the the berry bushes. So if we wander down here, then we should just be able to walk straight through it. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant berry bushes in all of these spaces in between and then hopefully we should be good to go. Now I am going to need a good many uh, shovels for this one unfortunately. Now it's not exactly going to be the, the most uh, enjoyable task this one but uh, it is what it is. There we go let's swap that over and if we come on down here now the problem is is we may well find that uh, our robots will try to uh, jump in and plant the berries, which is not exactly what we want. So I'm gonna have to do this manually, just quickly uh, digging up and then immediately planting. It's gonna take me a little bit to get it all done, so I'm not gonna force you to sit through that while I'm just whiling away my time, just planting all these berry bushes, but I will bring you back just as soon as we're finished. Okay, it looks like we are just about to complete our farming uh, quest for farming food. Just as soon as that's done, there we go. Fantastic. I haven't yet finished planting all the berry bushes, as you have no doubt noticed. We've got a mushroom hat. And, oh, is that just it? Just a mushroom hat? Oh, well, okay, then there is the mushroom body. Very well. Uh, but we've got a commemorative slab, which is always very, very nice. Now, if you're wondering how I'm uh, swapping my items in my backpack without a free hand, it is just the back slash key. Now, as soon as this is done, we will quickly plant this before uh, we get anyone trying to plant any mushrooms in there. Now, at this point, it, we are actually running out of uh, berries, and I've already had to at one point go and gather some more, so uh, I, I think we're at a good enough place where we can teach some robots how to manage the berries, at least until we've got a nice healthy stock so that I can finish off the rest of the farm. We've got more than enough to work with. That actually looks rather cool, I think. I, I, I've got to be honest. I'm quite liking it. Now, we planted 11 berries. We have stored 11 berries, and we have released eight using a stick on the uh, actual berry bushes themselves. All right, so we're going to need two robots to teach how to do this themselves. So let's go ahead and grab two poles. There we go. We can just drop these over there. We are going to need two seeds as well. Ah, uh, look at that forest. Marvelous. I do approve. There we go. And we're going to need, ooh, we're going to need uh, six logs in total. So let's come and drop those down here. Now, the, with the mushrooms, we needed four robots. Realistically, I might have just been able to squeeze it out with three, but I would have had to have probably cut some corners in order to achieve that. And that is uh, the only way I could see that happening is by doubling up the work of our digger. Because currently we've got someone who digs up mushrooms that are fully grown and someone who then digs up dirt. Now, we might have been able to repurpose that onto a single robot, but I think we may have had to be cutting some really, really steep corners in order to achieve that. And I'd rather not if I can avoid it. Instead, we have four. But we should be able to get by with only two for the berries because we don't need to replant them. And that really does actually uh, pull back the the needed memory space quite a lot. So uh, we should be able to get two workers, one just to gather the berries and the other just to, uh, to beat the berries out of the mature bushes. Right, let's go ahead and move things around. Though it did occur to me, uh, as it happens, that Big Al, you're a hauler. You should be in the hauling team. There we go, let's get you in there. There you go. 
Right, let's uh, go and grab you two and pop you down over here, nice and far out of the way. You, one of you will be a farmer and one of you will be a... Oh, no, 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 pop, pop them down first, there we go. And one of them will be a uh, a hauler as well and we'll be joining the hauling team. The hauling team will, will soon be one of our biggest teams. Uh, it is currently... Oh, no, actually, currently it already is the biggest team. Well done, hauling team. Uh, right, so who have we got here? We have got... Ooh, now I'm gonna get his name wrong. Namikan? Namikan? I, I have no idea. I hope I haven't butchered your name too badly. At any rate, thank you very much for the comment there. And next up, we have got Rui, who is also going to be joining us. Thank you, Rui, for being a patron supporter. There we go. Let's uh, pop you down and get your name. Oh, we need to close uh, Nami's brain there there we go thank you so much Rui right then first and foremost Rui let's teach you how to do things if you don't have anything in your hand uh, we're gonna need you to grab a stick from over here Yoink. there we go and then whilst your hands oh sorry until your hands are empty I want you to just come along here and wallop this bush there we go. This is really, really simple. There you go. And pop. Excellent. Right, we'll pop all of this in here. Now we need to adjust this uh, search area. There we go. Now, we, with the, the hands empty, we want to do this one until the berry bush container is full. Because I don't want you to beat the, the berries out and just keep beating the berries out. Because if we have our hauler be the one that cares about the, the full storage, then eventually Rui will just fill this place. And there will be towers of berries everywhere. It'll be awful. So we'll go ahead and set you up to do that forever. And that should be you good to go. Enjoy, Rui. Marvellous. Rui, you can now join the farmer team. There we go. Perfect. Next up, let's uh, pop you into the hauler team and get you properly set up as well. So, what are we going to have you do? Well, it's actually going to be super, super simple. I want you to find berries until your hands are full or you can't find any more. This one has to accept the area just outside our farm. There we go. And once that's done, I then want you to take this berry and go and pop it into the... Oh. Well, I mean, it would help if I didn't have that in my uh, hand, wouldn't it? Yes. My bad. My bad. Let me uh, get those out of the way. There we go. And then over here. I mean, the move crate is still going to be the same, but we may as well set that up until hands are empty. There you go. Now we can just wrap that up in a until full. I mean, we could, you know, get away with not having that there since Rui is going to make sure that there are no berries to be harvested if this is full, but still, I like having that in there. It's redundancy, really. There we go. So that was super, super easy. And now we have automated the collection of berries as well as mushrooms. Now, it's going to be a bit of a chore for me to get all of this sorted, but oh my lord, it's going to be so messy. Ye gads. Still, once I get an opportunity, I will go through here and I'll sort all of this out. Now, the grass there, we will eventually get rid of that, but we are going to need a specific uh, job. Uh, sorry, a specific tool, which I think we're going to need to have advanced a little bit further in order to, to get. Now... All that we have remaining is farming fruit. That shouldn't be too hard. I, I'm going to have to plant nine more berry bushes myself, but that's the only thing that's going to hold us back. Now, once that's done, we're going to have colonization level one. Colonist seed dispenser built, colonist incubator built, and colonists made three. Colonists fed six, and colonist wove made 30. That sounds so lovely, unless you think about it. And then, then it sounds decidedly sinister. But uh, since we've got plenty of uh, berries coming in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish off all of the berry planting just so that we get the fruit out of the way and then we will move on to farming people. Yes. And there we go. We have the official planning farming fruit, a small orchard. Marvellous. That is... Oh, we've got a venture stop. Ah, that's fantastic. We can make Link. Ah, this is truly glorious. But I believe uh, that leaves only this one 
left outstanding. In fact, yes, it does. So we're going to be moving on to the colonists, but not straight away. Not straight away. And, and obviously, although I don't need to plant this one, I'm going to for the sake of posterity. I must do this. Otherwise, I'll feel very, very weird about knowing that I left one spot just because I didn't have to plant it. There we go. Sorted. All right, that actually it looks like such a mess because there's so many uh, mushrooms everywhere. Uh, it's not it's not the grandest of times, I'll, I'll be honest. But uh, we, we really do need to get all of this cleaned up. Guys, there's so, so much, so much out there. Oh, well. Right, before we move on to the colonists, though, I think it is time for us to automate the construction of robots. Now, I know, I know. This is this is obviously how it begins. We start, we, we make them too fast, too smart, too capable of making themselves, and all of a sudden, they're, they're smarter than we are, and we're, we're being farmed. I, it's a slippery slope, I know, but I don't care. Um, roll on, our robot overlords, I say. Uh, right, so we want to uh, build a beautiful von Neumann machine in the shape of two or three robots delivering resources over here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually get two or three robots. I'm going to err on this. Well, let's see if we can't do it with just two. Um, yeah, let's let's see if we can manage to get this all nice and cozy like with just two robots. And Naturally, I'm carrying around my spade when I don't need it. Ah, I, I'd be dangerous if I actually had a brain, my lord. Right, and then we'll grab a log. This place is more or less shut down at this point, but uh, we're still doing okay with seeds and sticks, and there's plenty of them around, so I'm not too worried about that one for now. If I really wanted to, I could set these up with uh, extra pallets so that we could turn more of this into uh, other materials, but for the time being, let's let's see what we can do. Uh, want another three down here, then we're going to grab a pole and a seed. There we go. Thank you kindly. Let's go grab this seed as well. There we are. And then with two robots, we may be able to completely automate this. Now, the tricky part is, later on you will have a, a device called a bot storage, which will allow you to put your bots into the storage and therefore you can, you can read whether you've got too many robots that have been pre-made. Unfortunately, the until full does not work on this bench. I think it's because once the robots are made, they are considered something different from objects. Nah, I mean, that's that's probably a, a bad sign in and of itself. The, the robots see everything as objects except themselves. They, they are different from everything else in the universe, including humans. Humans are also objects. But uh, that does mean that we can't... It really would run away with itself if we just set it up to be automated. They would just keep making bots in, until infinity, which would not exactly what we want. Might be what the robots want, but it's not what we want. So we need to find a clever way of telling them to stop when we want them to stop. And the way I think we're going to do that is until we've got bot storage, which we can use then as a sort of uh, device for... Um, literally, if the bot storage is full, stop making robots. It might be 25, much like the other storages. We will just have this storage, and if there's anything in there, then the robot shouldn't be doing any work. So I've got a, a switch that I can use to turn it off. Or perhaps the, alt, uh, the opposite. If there's anything in there, that's the only time that they can work, and then I just have to take it out to turn it back off. One simple switch. Alternatively, you could put them into a team and then turn the entire team off, but I, I like this. This is a little bit more of an elegant solution, I think, anyway. Uh, right, so it really can be any old thing. Uh, so we're just going to grab a stick and we're going to pop a stick in there. There we go. Right then, let's grab our two new robots and uh, cart them over here. There we go. And you as well, please. Let's pop you down. Now, we're going to need a new team. Um, I fairly certain it's with dub double use isn't it hmm let me find out google oh i was completely off it's n-e-u-m-a double n i knew there was a double something in there uh, I, I hate not being able to spell right okay let's uh, set this team up ah big bright blue a friendly blue uh, because uh, it's, it's not threatening at all right let's find out our names we have king of kings Welcome to the team, King of Kings. Get you added onto the name list. And additionally, we've got Obsidia Mist. So let's close you down. There we go. Thank you both very, very much for being patron supporters. There we 
go. Right, so with that done, how are we going to do this? Well, first, King of Kings. Let's see. We need three planks. We need one pole, one seed, and one log. Okay, so we want this to be done forever, but also until not... Uh, until empty, I guess, or... or um, yeah, until empty. If that is that is uh, empty, then stop working. First thing I want you to do, go grab one pole. There we go. Come and deliver that pole, please. Right down here. Perfect. Now, if you had a backpack, I could make this super efficient. But alas, no backpack for us. Okay, that's all that you can do. So, okay, we're probably going to need three of them. We do not have enough memory for anything else. Okay. Uh, now, the problem is... We should see you end up getting a little bit stuck here. We may be able to help this... Until hands empty. Basically, if you can't empty your hands, you stop there. Now, otherwise... They, I, I believe that uh, that you would just move through this task and keep moving around. I mean, I guess we should check it first. But let's, uh, let's find out if that's how it would work. Let's go ahead and run this run this program. So currently, there's something in there. You're going to grab a pole. You're going to try and place it. Will you be able to place the pole? And if you can't, will you then move on to try and grab? Oh no, you you'll stop it. So that's fine. That works absolutely fine. Okay, Obsidia then. The next task. Let's have you record. Now, let's go ahead and grab uh, another forever. And then until this is empty. Oops, that is not quite what I wanted to do. Uh, let's grab this away. Dunk. There we go. Pop that back in. Uh, until the stick storage is empty, I would like you to go and grab three planks. Now, we specifically only want three, not until hands full. In this case, it doesn't make any difference for Obsidian because they can only carry three planks. But let's plan for the future. So, until, uh, or rather, do three times. There we go. We only move, want to move to the plank storage and take from the plank storage three times. And then, so one, two, so that I've got them since I'm, I want to uh, load this up anyway. Then we can just drop all of those there. We only need one set after that. Once you've done that, go ahead and move on down until hands empty. And go ahead and unload. Now you've got four kilobytes left. That could be enough. Head on down here, grab one, head on back up, drop it off. Ooh. It could be. Because we've only had to have um, a few commands. But with grabbing the pole and the, and the seed, even though that's the, the least amount of items, we were having to use four commands for each one. Whereas we've only had to use one, two, three, four, five, six over here. So we've got two extra commands. I think we may actually be able to do this. With just two. Oh, that would be absolutely grand. Truly grand. There we go. And that's all we need you to do. Excellent. That is actually much better than I was ex expecting. There we go then, Obsidian. Crack on and enjoy yourself. Uh, I'm going to shut this down, though. I don't want you doing it, it anymore. So, you know, please no. We'll have two new robots made for us. But we'll, I want to make sure that that is, in fact, the case. So you're going to bring a log along. And then we'll see what happens. There we go. And Obsidian shouldn't move back out. Yeah, Obsidian is is staying there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, King of Kings was already working on the next batch, so King of Kings is going to to drop those off, and then that that's it for them. Right, let's grab these robots, move them up. So we've now got an automated way to make uh, and, and real, uh, for all intents and purposes, an infinite amount of robots, which is uh, both wonderful and terrifying at the same time. But with all of that done, it is finally time for us to move on to colonization level one. Now, before we do, let's have a look at what it's gonna cost to make. Planks, poles, ooh, crude gears. Oh. 
So we're going to want to set up a manufactory for crude gears now then as well. All right, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, that means that we're going to want another crude workbench though, I believe. Let me uh, just go ahead and have a quick peek. Do we make crude gears down here? No, we don't. We make them over here. Right, okay then, well that's not too terribly bad. No, we can, we can definitely set this up. If we pop it down here, the, the recharge bots should be in this position already, so it shouldn't be much of a problem for us. Let's get that made there, and we'll also get another container just over there. It should be fine. There we go. Uh, right, we want a couple of planks and a couple of uh, poles. Now, I know I could automate having a construction area, but uh, again, I'm holding off on that just yet because I want to see what is involved in making that. Ultimately, I want a smarter bot so that I can make uh, a, a, uh, an elegant script that can handle the majority of materials we're going to be using. Otherwise, I'm just going to make more and more and more level one robots, which I don't intend then to use later on, which is, eh, means I would have to repurpose them, find them different jobs. It would uh, be a bit of a chore, really. There we go. Let's grab these and pop them down. That is such a mess. Oh, my Lord. Right, we also want two sticks, so let's go grab these. Should be nice and easy. There we go. Now, this one needs to be set up for crude gears. There we are. I guess we could set up crude wheels as well. Hmm. You know what? I'm tempted to. I'm very tempted, since we are going to want them. Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. And we could have the storages just positioned over here. There we are. And, uh, oh, we're going to have to wait on that one, unfortunately. Uh, right. I would like my terraforming team to move, please. Let's head on over here. Where are my terraformers? Terraformers, could you please come over here for me? Please and thank you. And cheers. Right, let's pop that uh, crate back down. There we go. So we want another four planks. And another four poles, and another two sticks, and indeed another two trees. It's, it, I, I'm actually getting really close to just saying, ah, fine, I'll just repurpose those bots later on. Because this is a lot of hauling stuff back and forth. This whole industrial area is getting actually quite, uh, quite um, congested. Actually, I'm not, not a huge fan of that, if I'm perfectly honest. We may need to move some of this around. Thankfully, because of the way that we can just delete uh, an item and then rebuild it, we should be able to move these things around fairly easily. The only thing that will pro provide uh, any real challenge will be the uh, storages, which in many cases contain quite a lot of items at this point. Uh, right, there we go, two, six, perfect. We'll be able to get two robots helping out with this, and maybe we're gonna need a third to haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have you guys build me another robot as well. There we go, a wheel. Um, I think we're going to want probably two robots over there. But whilst all of that's going on, I'm actually going to explore down a little bit just to uh, uncover a little bit more space. Just so that we can uh, expand out and build our people manufactorums down this away. There we go. Perfect. There are lots of plants around. I'm not sure what we use them for. Because the plants are distinct. Hmm. Interesting. Pumpkin over there. Very nice. Right, okay, so what do we use for the gear? Just one plank and two planks. Okay, that's really not that hard. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab three planks just so that I can create the first of all of these items and uh, prime the storages that way. Right, we've got a second robot made there. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and let you make a third just in case. There we go. In fact, let me go and grab that now because you will finish that third fairly soon. There we are. It can run away with you if you take your eye off it. All right, there we go. All right, so we want to be making crude wheels and crude gears. So let's go ahead and... Uh, well, these would not necessarily be toolsmiths. Um, I guess this would be more processing. So let's move you two up into processing. And let's have a look at this group. Okay, first and foremost, gonna need some names. 
Okay, we have got Ross and Raccoons. Raccoons, thank you very much for your patron support. And Ross, thank you very much for commenting on the first video. Right, okay, so we have two new processors. Ross, I think I'm going to give you the wheels. So for you, we're going to need a case of two planks exactly. Uh, now, I could have you just gather all that you could, but really, since you can't carry four, we very much want you to just grab a two instead. So grab times two. There we are. Move to the plank storage. Take from plank storage. There we go. And then we simply want you to come and drop that on over here. There we go. Move to crude workbench. And we want until hands empty. There we are. Once that's done, now we could wrap this up in a forever and then a well, let's pop this one in forever this one should be until this is full there we are now at that point we could since this will only produce one wheel it's only four kilobytes are going to be needed to grab it and actually load it so we didn't actually need the rest of the bots ah this is how it begins you end up with one too many bots uh but that's fine let's go ahead and grab this next plank and drop that down here there we go nice and easy again since ross can't possibly carry uh, enough load to do this twice th it's fine to be very specific so once that's happened let's go ahead oh no it's going to require three well that's a bit of a pain isn't it um well, I suppose we could get rid of this repeat. It's not exactly elegant, but it would still work because eventually Ross wouldn't be able to load this up anymore. So find the wheel, move to the crude wheel, pick it up, and then just go ahead and drop it off. And once you can't drop it off, you'll stop. So there we go. Ross, enjoy. That is a one-stop shop for wooden wheels. Excellent. Right. Raccoons, you're up next. Okay, now your task is a little bit simpler. You only need to go and grab one plank and then deliver it. Now, the problem with this is because it's only one plank, you could quite happily make three gears at a time and just by waiting and then deploying more gears. Hmm, I think I like that idea. And then we could use one of the new bots to, to hold them in. That being said, again, you could be a one-stop shop if I really wanted you to be. Um, let's see how much memory that would take. Let's go ahead and pop that one down there. We'd make a new gear. So we would want until hands empty. Well, actually, no, we wouldn't even need that right now. And you just go pick that up and then drop it off. Okay, so how would we want this frame? Until this storage is full. That's, that's a pretty simple um a bit of programming it, it does cost you a lot of time wandering back and forth if i set this up to just grab everything and deliver it you would make better use of your time but ultimately it would always end with this gear storage being full so uh, for the time being i guess that's fine sure crack on then and enjoy there we go that should uh, take care of everything for us so we'll have all of the gears all of the crude uh, crude wheels as well. Perfect. Right, now then, we are going to want to make a seed dispenser, an incubator, and some colonists. Very well. Sinister though it may be, we have to do it. So we've got the colonist seed dispenser. It's fairly uh, modest little construction. We've got the colonization, uh, the incubator, sorry. And then we've got the research station, which is very large compared to everything else. Um, well, Although it's going to require that we have more charges, I think we could set this up a little bit further down. Uh, for the time being, we're just going to go ahead and build these just down here. And honestly, given the uh, the perfect setup there, we will actually have these just rotated like so. I think that'll look quite nice. All right, so we want four planks, four planks, exactly the same for both. Very well. Uh, well, we've got all of the crude gears we need. Let's go ahead and drop these down. Oh, these are large items. I can only carry two of them. That's pretty good. I wasn't aware that that was something that, that happened, that it uh, that it watched that sort of thing. 
That's, that's uh, quite funky. I, I, obviously, I knew that tools did it and logs, but I, I wasn't aware that just regular items could have different bulks. It's actually genuinely quite fun. Really, you make three. This is the problem. Unless... No, you made three. Mm. I, I'm on to you, robots. You think I'm not going to pay attention. You're going to sneakily make one more each time until suddenly I, I ask you to make one robot and you make 14. Mm, this is how it begins. Well, actually, it's already begun. This, this, this is, this is the, kind of the midpoint of the story now. The robots are already starting to enact the diabolical schemes. Now let's pop you down here so you're nice and out of the way. Right, all we need now are planks, so let's go and grab these. Uh, I think, yes, and then we just need to make a couple of colonists. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. We've already got all of the wheels that we need. Oh, it's taking us a while there. Colonist seed suspenser complete. Here's a pod of colonist seeds. <sighs> Look at them. That is terrifying. <laughs> this is full Matrix. I don't care what you say. They can wear as many smiles as they want. This this is full on Matrix now. My lord. So many mushrooms. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to have to adjust your, uh, your AI, aren't we? Yeah, I really need you to stop digging up the mushrooms uh actually no you're hmm. you shouldn't be digging up the mushrooms until I oh right wait problem is you immediately go out and grab more don't you yes okay what we need to do then is instead go into let's wait for you to finish digging that hole we need to stop the holes being dug so that the, then the mushrooms aren't planted, because it's just getting crazy. Okay, until hands empty. No, no, no. We need to stop you there. Ah, you've already started again. Damn it. You've started, so you'll finish. But yeah, this is getting just a mess. There are so many mushrooms piled up. So, let's wait for you to be done. Oh, you've run out of, of juice. Really? Uh, I, I, as I mentioned, they get slower at performing whatever task they're, they're doing as their battery discharges. Thankfully, we should get you back up and fully charged in just a moment. That gives me a moment to have a sip of tea. There we go. Right. So, you're currently doing this whole job. I'm going to put down until their storage is full. Now, hopefully, that will make some impact, but it might still not quite help out. Oh, no, there we go. I think we might be okay, perhaps. Yes. Okay, there we are. Ah, right, okay. So, how do we use this? Well, we go over to the colonist dispenser. We dispense the colonist seed. So, womp. There we are. One colonist seed. Pop this in there. And now the colonist incubator requires food to fuel it. Now I could automate this in much the same way that I've automated everything over there. But there's something in me that tells me I shouldn't. It, it's it's dangerous enough that the robots can build themselves. If I allow the robots to just just automatically build more humans, oh that's 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 nightmare fuel. So of course we're gonna do it. Right, so, let's uh, go ahead and grab you. We're going to do exactly the same thing we did before. And just a very, uh, very simple method of uh, of controlling this. If there's anything in this crate, then they are not allowed to make any more humans. There we go. So this way I can have you produce quite a few. And should we ever get to the point where we are actually able to meet the demands of an increasing population without end, I, I'll just leave something in there. Or I'll just take that clause out of your AI altogether and it'll, it'll be absolutely terrifying. I'll grab another stick and pop this down here. There we go. Right, okay. So who's going to be the lucky robot in charge of birthing the humans? Uh, we need a new team. Um... There we go. Uh, we will make you a nice, bold, passionate red. Yes, I think this is going to be grand. Uh, let's find you. 
Uh, we also want to collapse all of the, the groups. MK0030, you shall be mother. Uh, right, let's find you. I'm not going to call you mother, no, no, no. You're going to be Caligal. There we go. Welcome to the colony, Caligal. Oops. Let's get you over there. Well, right. So, for as long as this is not empty, I would like you to move to the colony seed dispenser and take from the colony seed dispenser. Then, go and pick up the colony seed. Donk, like so. There we are. And then, deposit in here. Ah, damn. Okay, you're gonna have to wait for a moment. Let me uh, pop that colony seed down. Can I, can I eject the colony seed that's in here? Ah, oh, no. I'd probably have to kill the colony seed. That would be terrible. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. Okay, so, Galagal, you're gonna have to wait just a little, little bit. Don't worry. We're gonna have another uh, robot in the uh, I Am Mother group. You shall be. Oh, my lord. Uh, Eli. I'm not gonna use your full name, because uh, it would be a massive tongue twister. Eli, welcome to the team. You're gonna be in charge of feeding the humans. Uh, what are we going to feed? We're going to feed them mushrooms. Because I, I'm assuming this thing's going to grow them like 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 mushrooms. It's just going to it's moist and dark in there. And just probably got some sort of rope hanging down. And all, all of the human spores have been attached to it. it it's fine. Uh, right, so I would like you to grab all of these until your hands are full. And with that, or until it breaks. And then... Go ahead and just uh, apply. There we go. And until hands are empty. There we go. Dunk. There we are. Just keep applying that and more or less do this for as long as... Well, actually, no. You should be doing this forever because if we've requested that the humans be, be, uh, be incubated, you should just feed. Any humans that need to be incubated, just feed them, please. And thank you. There you go, Eli. Enjoy your job, hopefully. There we are. We need quite a lot of food in here. Yoink. All of the foods. There we go. Now let's uh, let's have a proper little watch of this. Uh, Eli? Uh, Eli? Hi. Moves to the corner. That's correct. Now, now apply. Huh. Okay. Uh, add collar seed and then fill it with food until the bar is filled. Why is that not allowing me to make more? Is this something that the robots aren't allowed to do? Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> until something is empty. My bad. I do apologize. Ah, <laughs> uh, Eli. Until your hands are empty. That's what I meant. Obviously. There you go. Uh, are you going to go and, and, and pretend to grab more mushrooms? It's okay. I know it was my fault this time. It's perfectly fine. Go ahead and just load this up with all of the mushrooms forever. There we go. And out pops a human. Whoa, you brought new life to this world. Colonists give you love if you give them food. It's basically a trade. Colonist evolution. Level one, food. Colonization starts down there. And ends all the way up there. Very well. There we go. Now, you can't actually put anything more in there, so you're just going to hang tight for now. Uh, Hopang. Level one. Uh, look, this, I've, uh, you've been born into a crazy time. This, this is a nightmare world, honestly. But let me quickly go and grab you a little bit of food. Here you go. I, I hate seeing you without... There. There. Uh. Why do they sound like babies? This, this is this is so wrong. Oh, oh, my lord, what are we doing? Right, okay, so once you've got the colonist seed, I would like you very much to move to the colonist incubator with seed in hand. There we go. And then apply it. Like so. There we go. Until... Oh, actually, let me uh, get rid of that one. Until hand is empty. Well, 
well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Does it? No, no, not particularly, but we'll, we'll add that in there. Um, actually, no, it, it is completely surplus of demand. Uh, we will have this happen forever, I guess. Ah, this feels so wrong. Okay, well, uh, that, that's an end to that, please and thank you. Let's pop you down there with your sibling. Your, 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 your tank sister or brother or, or cousin or your, 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 your tank mate. I'm not really sure. You, do you have belly buttons? You do have belly buttons, so they are umbilical cords. Or that's where you were attached to the spore rope. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure I want to know, frankly. But uh, we've got some colonists, what? Hooray. Hooray for us. We are farming humans. Uh, don't, don't we feel, like, accomplished? Uh, okay, well, uh, we've got to feed more colonists. So that is where bot MK0032 is going to come in. So, let's pop you over here. Now, hopefully, we can get you to feed the humans that need to be fed. And it's going to be Eelstar. Hello, Eelstar. Ah, you've got a, a dubious honor here, mate. Right, we, we grew them on mushrooms, but we're going to feed them berries, I think. So let's go and grab some berries. Until hands are full. There we go. Or until there are no more berries to grab. And I would like you to find a human that requires sustenance. There you go. And move to the colonist, add to the colonist, and then I want you to do that pretty much forever. If there is a nearest colonist, I mean, this is the... For now, this can be our nursery. For now. We'll pop this down there. Oh, they, they sound... Why? Why are they... Ch why are they babies? Really, game? This is... Ah! It's going through me. Okay, go. Enjoy. Let me uh, grab another another baby human. I'm so sorry. What am I doing? Right, there we go. At least we're going to be feeding you. Hopefully, the e eel star has been uh, programmed with a a. Uh, oh, actually, hmm. now, do you need? F yes, you do. Now the thing is, you had a full load of berries. You could be a little bit better programmed. Ooh. Let me stop you there, then. Until hands are full, then until hands are empty, go ahead, find the nearest colors, move to colors, add to colors. There you go. That will be a much better system for you. There. Marvelous. Now, is that counting or do I actually need... Oh, no, no, that's fine. We just need to feed one more colonist and then collect a load of wuff. Can I store wuff? Wuff can be stored in a crate. Well, I I guess. Okay. Uh, no, 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 that's not where I... No! Oh, no. Uh, that was a mistake. Game, why? Oh, well, I guess. I guess we're having more, more colonists then. Uh, for now, that, why are you stood on your head? Uh, is this normal? I think we may we may have botched the the incubation process here. I this does not look look right. Uh, nevertheless, though, we've got another another human. So let's uh, add you down here. There you go. They they seem to stand on their head when they're happy. So I I, I guess okay, fair enough. Well, we're gathering quite a lot of love now. To be fair, that's going up fairly quickly. Right, evolution. What have I evolved something? Uh, level one food. I've got four. Mm, that's not really telling me anything. Hmm, strange. But we can, of course, also build a research center. And that's where we put what? Uh, I think we should probably put this research center somewhere around here. Uh, we could happily pop it right there, I'm thinking. Now, that doesn't need too much to make. And I think we should probably also have a WUV container as well. Let's go and grab some more odds and sods from over here. Let's go and grab four of these. There we are. This just feels so wrong. So wrong. Nevertheless, I, I feel compelled to have at least five of them, just so that that it, they're, they're all in the right sort of spot. So, uh, I feel like this game is slowly eroding my, my ethical core. It's making me make decisions that I'm not entirely sure are the right decisions. Mm, there we go. Well... I think we will probably have a fully incubated uh, human. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Right, let's grab you. Put you down by your siblings. There you go. Enjoy. And I'm going to grab some of this wolf and then pop that in there. There we go. It's now a wolf crate. Ah. 
Right, we need eight planks, two logs, eight poles, and two stones. I'm very close at this point to caving and creating an automated construction area. But I know that we'll be able to quickly research being able to make better bots with this up and running. So I'm going to try and resist for a little bit longer. We are very nearly at the uh, WUV amount we need. There we go. Colonization level one. Marvelous. Only not really. I, I feel very, very dubious about this. There we are. We've got a commemorative slab. There we are. Wow. Got a Denki t-shirt. A Denki baseball cap. A direction sign. Press Z while holding the sign to edit it. Now that is going to be a big help. Also a regular sign. And a crude scooter. Hooray. Wonder One wardrobe. Special storage for your special hats and tops. Well, hey. My lord. What's this? A whole new set of plans to complete and certificates to earn? Yes. Ye gads. Okay, so... We've got up to level four research. We've got metallurgy, transportation, power, colonization level four, construction, masonry, beekeeping, farming, textiles, colonization level three, farming, livestock. Um, so we've got, uh, I'm assuming, uh, chickens, sheep, beefs, fish, farming arable, so other crops, baking, cooking, pottery, and colonization level two, but I don't see anything for colonization level five, six, seven. Ooh, I wonder, is that in? I, I assume it is. It might just be that I need to research uh, to get up to it, but we've got science. Let's uh, go ahead and pop that one down and farming of vegetables. We've got to get some pumpkins for that one very well. Uh, research station built and research completed, 12. Well, we're fast on our way to that one. Uh, let's head on out and see if we've got any new things about what we do. We can build the wardrobe. I mean, you know, I'm working very hard. I think that I deserve something for my my loyal service to robot kind. Sure, I'm going to give myself a wardrobe. Damn it. Uh, we are also going to need to create a, a robot for gathering up all of this wealth. Because that is a lot of wealth being generated. Oh my lord. Apparently we can make new things. Lots of new things. Let's go and have a look. What can we make? Ah, the scooter. I want one. Oh, I want one so bad. Right, I need my own crafting bench. For only my stuff. There we go. And this is absolutely going to be built first. Because the scooter is going to help me so much. In just getting around and getting things done. I have two sticks as well, please. I am absolutely getting distracted. But there's so many things. All available, all at once. It's off in the way, though. I need two crude wheels. Okay, let's go and grab these. There we are. One, two. And let's get these loaded up. We need three poles and one plank. Okay. Well, if we grab the plank, we can stow that in our backpack, and then we can grab three poles besides. There we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, and the plank. Finally, we will have a scooter. This is marvelous. Can I? I, be, I believe I can. Can I upgrade myself? I would like my scooter on my upgrade slot. Ha ha! Now I drive around on my scooter, my little wooden scooter. Ah, oh, this is glorious. Truly, it is. Uh, right, we want four poles, eight planks. Let's uh, go and grab those items. And we're also going to need uh, another item as well. So, four poles. One, two, three, and four. And then we can whiz all the way down here. I'm really hopeful that we're going to be able to uh, actually immediately get some uh, interesting clothing on. I know, I know. We need to fix that as well. But come on. I, I worked very hard. I deserve a reward. I, at least I need a reward to, to cancel out the, the ethics that I'm feeling about that's raising baby humans and stuffing them full of berries until they they stand on their head and then just vomit up love. I don't think this this is very sinister. No, these robots are, are cruel overlords in actual fact. Uh, oh well. All right, let's uh, go and drop this off. Again, I ask myself, was I one of these children on another planet once? But I just showed uh, an unprecedented level of obedience to the robot overlord, so I was I was tasked with the the uh, 
duty of seeding another planet with, with, with human-shaped batteries. One can only wonder. Uh, how's everything going over here? There we go. In actual fact, the robots just really want to take care of us, and, and, and me uh, besmirching their they good name. They're shedding little oily tears every time I do it. They just want to make us happy and give us hugs. Oh, poor robots. Right, there we go. Wardrobe is done. Ah, it's fantastic. I can put them in, in all sorts of places. Uh, right, well, I, well we're, we're, <laughs> we're completely a bit of a smarty pants. My goodness, that's huge. How am I going to walk around with that? Uh, we're going to be an adventurer as well. Donk. Amazing. Unless... Oh, I've only got... No, oh, I only have these. These are on my... I couldn't have the Denki one, I guess. Donk. Wait. Where did... Where did... Oh, where did it go? Oh, no. It ate my t-shirt. That's rather awful. Oh, no, there it is. Yoink. Let's pop that back in there. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Oh, my lord. What have we done? What have we done? Oh, well. Right, we need another eight poles, another eight planks. So let me quickly go and grab those. There we go. The scooter is really, really speeding things up, though. That is fantastic. Truly, truly awesome. This is at least going to give our um, construction uh, processing bots something to do because we are using up a lot of these materials very quickly. Can I not drop that? Hmm. How curious. There we go. And we need one more besides. That's a bit unfortunate, but oh well. There we go. And can I get these? One, two, three, and four. There we are. We will get a robot to move all that. Can we at least give them something to keep them out of the rain? I feel this is cruelty. Even for robots. There we go. And we will have our research station up and running at long last. Ah, we've made a lot of progress in today's episode. There we go. You're ready to begin your exciting journey of scientific discovery. All available research is summarized here. Click on an entry to see what you need to research and all the related technology unlocked. Okay. You can now research any of the level one technologies. Uh, level twos, level threes, level fours, level fives, power technology. My Lord, these are large numbers. Okay. So we're not getting there anytime soon. But robotics technology for basic upgrades or farming technology. We get, a, okay, some basic tools there. We get uh, storage technology, cooking technology, shelter. Te oh, I feel like maybe we should probably go for shelter technology to give give our, our little, uh, little dudes somewhere to be safe. Yes, let's go for as much as I want this. I No, I feel super bad. Okay, so I need to pop down a log, I think. We're gonna need a log and then a bunch of wav. There we are, that's fine. I'll set that one up first, there we go. But it looks like we just seed it with one item and then it's just a matter of getting a load of wav put in there. So yeah, that's probably what we're gonna be working on in the next episode. We've already done quite a lot in this one. To recap though, we have planted out all of the berries that we need, and that's actually going to do quite well for us moving forward. We have ultimately created a human incubation. So we've got colonist seed. I mean, they're called colonists. Oh, oh no. Oh no, there was enough. You weren't even being fed. Oh, I feel so bad. Please forgive me. I totally wasn't trying to leave you there being hungry. Are you going to feed them? Hmm. I worry that you might not. Uh, well, I mean, it's the best that we can do. I need to make sure that you actually feed them correctly. So let me quickly adjust your area of feeding. Out to there. We'll, we'll have a little bit more room. There we go. 
that will do. Right, but uh, yeah, so we are fully cultivating the mushrooms. We're using the mus mushrooms to nourish the incubation of our colonists. Then we're using our berries to feed the colonists and generate wealth, which we are going to use to research. And the first thing we're going to research is to get them somewhere so they can get out of this horrible rain. It doesn't seem to be bothering them, but it bothers me that it isn't bothering them. And we may possibly have, perhaps, maybe kind of i mean no one can prove it there's this except that there is a video but anyway somehow some way the the robots have learned how to build themselves thankfully thanks to me heroically in fact i have managed to uh to include a clause which stops them from doing so but they've already betrayed their their desire to make more than i order i mean to make more than than they were going to make anyway but then i stopped them so we'll see how that goes we may end up with a runaway function and then just bajillions of robots but uh, it's fine we'll, we'll find something to give them to do that it doesn't involve being cruel to tiny little baby humans but that is going to be it for today's episode i really really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next but until then and as always do take care everyone <laughs>